Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on setting up SQLite database for Java project in IntelliJ IDEA. First of all you need to have IntelliJ IDEA. So you can download it by watching my previous video from link in description. After that open IntelliJ IDEA and create a new project. Give your project a name. In language you have to select Java. And in build system you have to select maven it is necessary to select maven because we are working with sqlite database from maven dependencies after that you have to select jdk if you do not have any listed there then you can click on add sdk and download the latest version i already have one so i'll just select the one i have and then finally click on create now wait for IDE to load completely once loaded open pom.xml file and over there you have to add a tag dependencies now you have to add a dependency which is jdbc driver you have to open any browser and search for SQLite JDBC and then open Maven repositories link. I'll provide link in description and then select version. I'll select the latest one. Over there you have to copy anything between dependency. And then paste it in dependencies after that you will get a option to reload maven changes click on that button or you can click on ctrl shift o wait for it to completely load the dependency after loading is complete you can close this file now we will create a database file We do not need this main.java code so I'll just clear it. Now right click in your project name, click on new, file and then give a name to your database in my case i will give my db.db make sure the file name ends with .db extension it is extension for database now it will recommend you to install plugin you have to install it because we need to see what's inside our database this plugin allows us to browse our database so select the first plugin and install it. Wait for plugins to install properly. In the right panel, click on database. Click on plus icon to add our database. Select data source from path and then select the database we just made in driver you have to select SQLite and click on OK after that you have to test connection if it is successful then just click on OK if you want you can update that but it's fine for me so you can see it is successful now just click on ok so our database is added to maven project and you can see i do not have any table inside main let me close it for now now i create a new model where i will store 
database connection file right click in org.examples folder click on package and give it a name models now inside models create a new class connect db now i'll paste some codes in main.java and connect db.java i'll explain this code to you and also i'll provide this code in description so first of all in connect db i specify the package name because our connect db is inside models folder now if you uncomment this line import java.sql dot asterisk then it will import anything related to sql but in connect db i only need these three classes so i will just import these three classes after that connect db it is default class name and then from connection class i will get a connection And then we will make a public method or class called connect db over there we will make a url string here you have to put your database name in place of my db dot db other everything remains same and then in try it will try to connect to our database using driver manager class driver manager class dot get connection if you go to driver manager and search for get connection we can see a method there and it takes a string url so we are providing url to that driver if there is an error then it will print error I am adding a code to print connection successful if it is connected to database otherwise it will print error let me add code for error also next we have a get connection method it will return connection and then we have close connection if connection equals to null then it will close the connection otherwise it will print error error handling is very necessary and you do not have to make any changes to this code i will provide this code in description you just have to change name of the database if you have kept any other name otherwise it will also be fine and then in main.java i will show you by performing crud operation which means create read update and delete so first of all we import connect dv class after that we make a object named dv from connect dv and then we make a connection object from connection class and then from db.getConnection method we will get a connection from database now if connection is not null and there is no error then it will run anything inside try first of all we will make statement object from statement class this line is necessary after that we have hard coded query inside statement dot execute update i will convert it into a string and then use there if you have to do any changes in the table then you will use execute update and if you have to read data from database then you will use execute query now we will refresh the database you can see there is one table this is a default table now when i run my code 
which is to create table if it doesn't exist it have to create a student table you can see there is warning it is not error and it says connection successful and connection closed so it should create our table let me refresh and you can see there is a students table and there should be id and name in column yeah you can see if you double click on table name then it will open db browser plugin where we can see our database details now i will run insert command now everything is easy you just have to write query if you have to make changes to table you will use execute update and then if you have to read data then you will use execute query so when i run this it says data inserted now if i refresh our table you can see there are records now let me run this another code to display data to display data we use result set this is also a class from sql this while loop will loop into the results and print record run wise first of all it will print id and get int uh, followed by column name will give us data from that column and get a string because name is a string and id is integer so you can see it is printed in console we are able to read data and you can see data is inserted again because we have not commented previous course now i will run this command to update data so according to my sql query it should set value of first to zone zoni it is zone right now and when i run this command it should be zoni let me uncomment this code to display also it will display after making sense so so you can see it was zone before and it's now zone e. now i'll show you how to delete data But first, let me comment these lines. Now, you you can see we have six records, and my SQL query should delete second record where ID equals to two. Now, if I refresh my table, then you can see there is no ID two because it is deleted. So I will comment this line again. And I don't want to display it after deleting, so I'll remove this piece of code. Now our all operations are completed. And there is catch statement that will show error if it is unsuccessful connection. So this is how you can do CRUD operations to your database using java and jdbc driver i'll provide this code in description and then you can explore this code then you will understand it by yourself the sql queries i used are same as in mysql you can search it on the internet for more contents like this do not forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching